Less than 24 hours after voters elected Republican Mike Kehoe to be Missouri's next governor, he's laying out a path for his transition. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains how Kehoe vowed to work with lawmakers on abortion access, and she's live in Jefferson City. Emily? Well, Mandy, by next month, abortion services could once again be offered here in the state of Missouri. But Missouri's 58th governor says he wants to protect life, while Kehoe tells me that he has not been part of any conversation about taking legal action against Amendment, C Amendment 3. He wants to see what options are available. It was a night of celebration for abortion rights supporters. The Show Me State showed the country that the first state to pass and enforce a total abortion ban was the first state to end it. The constitutional amendment is set to go into effect December 5th, leaving those against the measure less than 30 days to come up with a plan. And I've made that very clear through this whole campaign that protecting innocent life and creating a culture of life in the state is very important to me. During a press conference to announce his transition director Wednesday, Kehoe said he will work with lawmakers to find out what steps are available at the state level. I think that's one of the problems that we have as a country and as a, as a state is that uh, we've lost uh, the value, uh, in my opinion, of the meaning of life, and certainly innocent life is one of those. Missouri's Planned Parenthood clinics also filed a lawsuit Wednesday hoping to strike down the state's current abortion restrictions to allow providers to begin offering the procedure in the coming weeks. This win is one critical step in that fight, making sure Missourians can access the care they need with dignity. And we know folks are going to push back against that, but we're going to stand strong. Now, even before Tuesday's vote, Republican lawmakers said that they were going to take legal action if it was approved by voters. They also are discussing taking up any legislation that could possibly delay this abortion services from being restored in the state during the upcoming session, which starts in January. Now, as for Kehoe, he will officially be sworn in as Missouri's 58th governor on January 13th. Emily, crime has been a big issue for voters. What is Kehoe's priority for his crime plan? Well, Mandy, I would say that in the past couple of weeks, we've heard at Kehoe talk about crime being one of his number one priorities when he takes office. While he hasn't released many details yet, he did say something new today during the press conference, and that's that he believes that the state police, that the state should have control of the St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department. It's something that we've discussed many here, many times here inside the state house, and it's been debated as legislation once before. But it sounds like Kehoe is on board with making St. Louis join in Kansas City in their city police departments being under state control. All right, Emily Manley, we will see. Thank you for your live report.